Welcome to this episode. I am so glad you're here because I want to talk today about something that we all need to start doing, and that is building what my son has called the habit of happy. And number one, I, I think it's fascinating when you think about kids and, and how they view the world. Because so many times we we get we make things too complicated. We make things too granular. We get too in the weeds of life and everything becomes really, really heavy. So I think about two different instances that I've had recently um, with kids that have reframed this. Number one, my son Taylor, who came up with the habit of happy, talked about how we should just be happy. Like it's just, <laughs> you just made it seem so simple. And when you think about it, it actually is. It's, it's very easy to create a habit of happy. And why wouldn't we? We create so many other habits for things. We make plans for things. We listen to podcasts and do all these coaches and you know masterminds and all these things to create habits, to create behavior change, to do the different things that we want and need to do for our own lives. But what are we doing for happiness? What are we doing for our, for our own happiness? Because that should be the habit that we, we invest in the most, that we spend the most time on or that we're the most intentional about. So one, the simplicity of how my son put it, like, why wouldn't you just do this? Why wouldn't you want to be happy? Combined with another instance yesterday, um, I'm going to try not to get too emotional, but it, it may be a little hard. So I, I spent some time with my mom who's in assisted living. And because of the interaction, my heart was very heavy when I left. And so you know how you just you're driving and you don't really you, not in a, not a non safe way, but you just you're kind of thinking about other things. So you're just on autopilot because you know you're driving home. You know the way home. You just get into that the habit of getting getting home. And as I'm driving home, I look up and there's this kid riding his bike by himself on the sidewalk coming coming my direction. Now shortly before this, my heart was so heavy that I just said I just I, I need something to. To, to take my mind off of this. I need a distraction. I need something, you know, something because I feel like my, I'm sliding down this negative or sad mentality. And all of a sudden there's this kid and he's riding his bike coming on the sidewalk, coming my direction against, you know, I'm on the right hand side. He's coming down the sidewalk on my side. And I look at him and I could tell even from a distance that he's waving, you know, he's waving at every car that goes by. And as I got up, you know, got up near him, he looks right at me through my windshield and smiled and waved at me. And something that simple brought immense joy to me to think that this, you know, this kid is living his best life, riding down the sidewalk, waving at people and sharing a smile, sharing a positive moment with people. And two things here. One, it struck me how simple the act was but the profound effect that it had on me personally. But two, I also think about the people that maybe saw him and were like, eh, they either didn't wave at him or ignored him, uh, that they just wanted to stay in their own world when they could have had just a couple of seconds of eye contact with this kid who was just loving life. So I feel bad for those individuals. I feel bad for those that, that don't want to take the time or, or are too busy or too focused on their own bullshit to, to really find joy in their day. Aside from that, those two instances convince me that we we need to create a habit of happy. Then that it is simple. It's not it's not rocket science, um, but there is science that backs it. So I do want to I do want to say it's not rocket science. It's behavioral science, and so I want to share five steps um, to creating a habit. And I want you to think about happiness in just in a small dose in your life today. Think about these things. So the first, the first step to creating a habit is setting a specific goal and, and you, you define the way you define the goal. You hope to turn it into a habit that does matter. So what if you set a specific goal for being happy for five minutes a day, just ob oblivious to everything else, completely devoid of concern of anything that's going on, forgetting your calendar, forgetting your phone, forgetting your troubles, forgetting all of those things. And I'm not saying that they don't matter. But what's five minutes in your day to just be intentionally happy? That to me would be a specific goal that benefits you and that does matter. So that's step number one, setting a specific goal. Number two, creating a detailed cue-based plan. Okay, easy enough. Detailed 
So I'm going to be intentionally happy in whatever that looks like, whether it's I'm going to spend five minutes listening to one of my favorite songs. I'm going to spend five minutes coloring in my adult coloring book because it brings me joy. It brings me happiness. I'm going to spend five minutes sending emails to support people. So you could you could have a list, right? And I, I'm going to create a list of things that that create intentional joy or different ideas to create intentional joy. So I'll share, I'll share that with you um, when it's ready. But even if you said, okay, five minutes every day at nine o'clock in the morning or noon or whatever that is. So detailed every day, certain time, you have a list of things that you can do. Cue based, okay, so then you set an alarm. You set a calendar hold. You block block it on your calendar. I don't care if it's your work calendar. I'm not care your personal calendar. Just put it on your work calendar. Let people that are looking at your calendar to set a meeting with you about something else see your five minutes of intentional happiness on your calendar. And that sucker is unmovable. Like you cannot reschedule that. So set a specific goal, create a detailed key base plan, make it fun to repeat is step three. How could that not be fun? How could it not be fun to create a repetitive interaction, a repetitive behavior where you're happy for five minutes, completely outside of anything else? That sounds fun to me. And so if you're one of those people that didn't look at this kid and didn't wave at this kid, this is the one you need to pay attention to. You need to have fun. You need to be happy. You need to be intentional about it. So set a specific goal, create a detailed Q-based plan, make it fun to repeat, foster flexibility. That's where the list comes in. So where you can be flexible with it. And it's understanding that it's not going to be the same thing every single day. You may not need the same thing every single day. Some days you're going to be on top of the, on top of the world already. And so whatever you do in that five minutes is going to bring you that much more joy. There may be days that you really just need to, to self-preserve. You know, I, I had one of those days the other day where I was empty, just I was running on fumes and I just needed to be quiet and to be still. And that five minutes for me was blissful and it allowed me to change the direction of my day. So I was flexible with my behavior. I was flexible with what I did. And finally, find the right kind of social support. Think about accountability. Think about those that are trying to build a habit, whether it's you know trying to reverse a negative habit or trying to just build a positive habit. Accountability is really big here. Making sure that you are being accountable to, to someone else, that they can keep you on track. And God forbid, they take on the habit as well so you can be mutual accountability buddies. That in of itself will keep that habit on, on course. So again, to reflect, Set a specific goal, create a detailed cue-based plan, make it fun to repeat, foster flexibility in your options, and find the right kind of social support. Five, five ways of making a habit happen. And if you can repeat that every single day, think about the joy you will have. Think about the end of the month, if you had over two hours of just intentional, blissful joy, what could that do for you? How could that help you mentally or emotionally or physically to just say, I, for this five minutes, nothing else touches me. Nothing else. Nothing else matters. Nothing else can bring me down. It's that five minutes of my habit of happy. So I encourage you to do that today. If you need an accountability buddy, hit me up. I'm happy to keep you accountable. And I'm happy to be the person that keeps you on track because it would do me good too to keep you accountable, it keeps me accountable as well. So what are you going to do to build your habit of happy? Think about all the things you can do. And again, if you have something that you can think of or a habit or an activity that you can do in that five minutes, let me know. would love to add it to the list of things I'm going to create. Uh, you can me message me at rich at richbracken.com or hit me up on socials. Um, but we all need to be happier. We all need to be more simplistic in our, in our mentality and understanding that the investment in happiness that we make on a daily basis is, is ours to benefit us. It's ours to help us and to help others because the joy that you bring and the energy that you bring to yourself will have a ripple effect on everybody else that you come in contact with. So construct your, your habit of happiness today. Find that time on the calendar every single day. Put that non-negotiable five minutes on there and don't apologize for it. This is your time to invest in yourself. This is your time to make yourself happy. And this is your time to invest in who you are and who you wanna be. So 
Thank you so much for listening to this episode. I, again, would love to hear what your habit of happy is going to include, what options you have in front of you, what makes you happy. If you could think of an activity right now, what is the first thing that comes to mind that if you say, if I just did this for five uninterrupted minutes, what would that be? I would love to hear it. So thank you so much for listening to this episode and please share this episode with as many people as you possibly can because you never know who's gonna need a little bit of enrichment and a whole lot of happiness. Take care, we'll see you next time.